Do you want to learn how to make your own GSM based laser security system? Well, if your answer is yes, then you're watching the right video. Watch this video from start to the very end because at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to make your own laser security system using GSM. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Ladder Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, for microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android security systems, robotics, image processing and much more. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. This is the GSM module that we will be using today, it's SIM900A. This is exactly the same GSM module that we will be using today. This is SIM900A and it has all the pin informations. As you can see, all the pins are labeled. You can see these two pins will be used for powering up the GSM module. We can give 4 to 5 volt to, uh, to power this on and uh, well, the ideal voltage is uh, 4.7, but we can give it 5 volt as well. And this is the ground pin and as you can see so we'll be using all three pins the ground pin the rxt 5 volt and the txt 5 volt so the rxd is the receive pin and the txt is the transmit pin as you can simply use a sim over here and this is sim 900a module you can also use sim 900 D and then after this I will sh uh, tell you how to interface this GSM module with the Arduino and I will also tell you about the circuit diagram and we will explain in detail the programming so let's start if you are from Pakistan or India first of all make sure that you purchase the unlocked version of the sim 900 if you're using sim 900d then using that module you'll be having no such problems so first of all make sure when you purchase this uh, sim 900a module you should ask that whether this particular module is locked or unlocked so that you don't purchase the wrong version if you purchase the wrong version it will be blocked automatically using sim 900a is very easy all you need is just to use a sim card over here you can easily open this use a sim card and then over here we'll be using only the three pins which I told you which are the ground the txt pin and the rxt pin so the txt and rxt pins will be connected with pin number seven and eight of the Arduino and the ground uh, pin will be connected with the ground pin of the Arduino and as you can see over here there's a DC socket and this will be used to give 5 volts to the GSM SIM 900A so friends you will also be needing uh, Arduino you know uh, if you don't have the Arduino you know you can use Mega as well but currently I have Arduino you know so that's why I'm using this one in simple words we can say that any program which is written for the Arduino you know can be run on Mega but the reverse may not apply because in, in Mega we have so many input output pins so there's a possibility that uh, the program which we have written for the Mega uh, may not run all the Arduino you know so if uh, we end up in a situation like this then what you will do you will just simply change the the, the pins in Arduino you know and then you are ready to go we will also be needing an LGR and a resistor to make a voltage divider as we are going to implement the laser security system so for this we will be needing an LGR which is a light dependent resistor and a 10k permanent resistor so before we start working on this uh, project first of all let me show you the basic circuit diagram so here is the basic circuit diagram explaining all the connections between the sim 900a and the arduino you know so first of all let me tell you about this schematic it is designed in kit so a cat soft eagle 6.3.0 professional if you want to learn how to make your own schematics and how to design pcbs then watch my tutorial 
cells. So now let's start discussing this schematic. Uh, let's start with the LDR and a 10K resistor. As you can see, the LDR is connected in series with a 10K resistor. On one end, we have given 5 volts, and on the other end, uh, we are applying the ground. What is an LDR? LDR stands for the light dependent resistor. Well, the LDR is also a resistor. It is just like this 10K resistor, but the LDR is a variable resistor and this 10K is a permanent resistor. The resistance of the LDR changes with the amount of falling on the LDR. So when there is no light falling on the LDR, it offers maximum resistance and when there is light falling on the LDR, then it offers less resistance. So as the LDR and the 10K resistor makes a voltage dividers, as you can see in the middle, we have taken a wire which is connected to the analog pin A1 of the Arduino. So when the LDR, when the, when the light on the LDR changes, so the voltage changes and then from this variable voltage uh, we can decide that whether the laser is cut or not, whether there is someone in front of the laser or there is a no body so we'll be using some if conditions and now let's look at sim 900a so as you, as i told you previously that we'll be using only three pins uh, which are the ground the rxd and the txt so the txt pin of the sim 900a will be connected with pin 8 of the arduino and similarly the rxd pin of the sim 900a will be connected with pin 7 of the arduino and similarly the ground pin of the sim 900a will be connected with the ground pin of the arduino so make sure make sure that you connect the ground pin of the sim 900a with the arduino ground you can change these pins, the pin number 7 and pin 8, you can use any other two pins uh, as per your requirement. And uh, this will be doing serial communication with the Arduino, so that's why we define these two pins, pin number 7 and pin number 8. So now as you can see the SM900A is interfaced with the Arduino as per the circuit diagram. As, as you can see the LDR, it is LDR and resistor which are connected in series and the one wire is connected with the Arduino 5 volt and the other one which is the black wire is connected with the ground of the Arduino and the middle wire which is the grey wire is connected with the A1 pin of the Arduino. So friends, this is the code of the GSM-based uh, security system using laser. So let's start with the hash includes software serial dot h. Now this is dot h means that this is a header file and now the question is that why we are using software serial dot h. As we know that sim 900a is uh, doing serial communication with the Arduino Uno or Mega and we also know that in Arduino you know we have only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and 1 so I recommend that you don't use uh, pin number 0 and 1 for serial communication between sim 900a and Arduino you know because if you use that then you won't be able to do the debugging on the serial monitor uh, in a few minutes I will tell you how you will be doing the debugging so what I did that I use the software serial dot h to define another serial port like for example I don't want to use pin number 0 and 1 I want to use pin number 7 and 8 so this way I can then define my own serial port for the sim 900 so software serial sim 900 and pin number 7 and 8 which I already explained the schematics that I will be connecting uh, the txt and rxc with pin number 7 and 8 so this is as a function as you can see there are parentheses this is a function and taking two arguments uh, as the input which are the pin numbers to which the uh, GSM module is connected is we will be sending a text message to the owner and telling him that telling him or her that there is an intruder so as it will be a string message so we will define a variable of the type string and this is text for sms 
as I have been telling you in all my uh, tutorials that that, that that the variable names have some rules like there no numbers are allowed at the beginning for example if I write 4 it will generate an error so no numbers are allowed in the beginning no spaces are allowed you can see it will give me an error so make sure you don't use spaces and numbers in the beginning but if you want you can use an underscore sign so if I change over here then I will have to change the same variable name in the rest of the program so let's keep it the way it is and then we use a semicolon which is terminator and which tells the compiler that the instruction is ended then integer data equals to zero now as I told you that we are using LTR and resistor in series which makes a voltage divider and when the light on the LTR changes so the voltage changes for different voltages we will be getting different values as the uh, Arduino Uno has a built-in analog to digital converter so for those different voltages we will be get we, we will be getting different values so those values will be stored in data and later these values will be used uh, in some if conditions to make a decision whether the laser is cut or not as we are using the LTR for decision so which is LTR is a sensor so integer sensor equals to a1 so it means that the voltage that is coming from the LTR in the resistor uh, we will fit that to the a1 of the Arduino Okay, so uh, each and every Mega and uh, Arduino Uno program has at least two functions. The one is a white setup, and the other one is the white loop. The white setup runs only one time, while the white loop runs infinite times. Now, as you can see, there is white setup and these parentheses. Now, what does it mean? It means that setup is a function why it's a function because it has parentheses so any name which has these two parentheses it means it's a function so it's why it means that this function is not returning any value and as the parentheses are empty so it means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input so this is a white font setup it runs only one time and it is just like an introduction that this is the name of the pen and then later you tell them that um, tell the compiler that whether this input this pin is uh, going to be used as an input or the output like for example the random seed analog read zero and then for example if we want to turn on the serial communication like for the debugging so serial dot begin 9600 so this instruction will be used to turn on the serial communication at a baud rate 9600 which is the baud rate you can change this uh, baud rate if you want and sim 900 dot begin 9600 so it will start the serial communication between the Arduino you know and sim 900 a at a baud rate of 9600 previously I used uh, some other GSM modules in which I was using 19,200 those GSM modules are working on this you know this is the same program I'm uh, I'm using in other like other other GSM modules the only thing I always change is only the board rate so oh, so I uh, then when, when I checked it practically uh, I found out uh, that uh, it works fine on 9600 then serial dot print line uh, logging time completed this is just for debugging purposes when I turn on the serial monitor it prints there that logging time is completed the pin mode sensor is input the pin mode is a function and it takes two argument the one is the name and then the type for example we want to use as an input or as the output so as its a sensor and we'll be using it to read values so this is an input and de delay 5000 if you don't use this uh, uh, then still it will work fine but just uh, using this five second delay to uh, give some time to GSM module to stable and then uh, start the white loop function data is equal to analog read sensor so first of all we read uh, the sensor the voltage which is coming from the voltage divider and then we print this serial dot print now why I am printing this data why because 
right now I don't know what is the light intensity in my room as I'm planning to use the light intensity in my room as the laser sensor so when there will be shadow on the LDR it will send me a text message so right now how let me upload this program and let's see what's the light status in my room logging time completed and when the five seconds are completed okay now you can see that uh, the, the value is fluctuating and like it's a uh, 398 okay when there is nothing in front of the LDR like put me some shadow now you can see the values are changing so when there is a shadow on the LDR it will be a value drops below 300 so what I will do I will use an instruction which is the F data is less than 300 it means there is something in front of the LDR and you send a text message so text for SMS is equal to intruder detected send the SMS which is a function and this is the message serial represent the text for SMS which the message is sent and this is okay five then when the message is sent it will wait for the five seconds okay and then there is a white send SMS as you can see over here send SMS so it, it takes that message and then some 900 dot print 80 plus CMGF as, as you know we have uh, types of messages like the MMS type and plain simple plain text so this is for the simple plain text and if you want to learn about the GSM modules 80 commands you can simply search on the Google Google and download a PDF file for the 80 commands and there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second and then some 900 dot print 80 plus CMGS uh, so this is the number on which you want to send a message okay and then after that delay uh, 1000 again a uh, one second delay sm900 dot print message the message that you want to send on this number and the 26 current 26 which is a uh, ASCII code for 26 delay 1000 sm900 print plan so this is all the code and <clears throat> now let's upload this code once uh, into the Arduino you know uh, just confirm that whether it's connected or not yeah it is connected we can count eight and the board is selected which is Arduino you know and let's upload this code and see this project in action this project can be easily modified in so many like different types of advanced security systems So now the program is uploaded now let's power up the GSM module as you can see the LED is blinking fast it means that uh, still it's not connected with the network and now you can see the LED is blinking at a slow rate which means that now it is connected with the network and now we are ready it's ready to send messages so as I'll be using the room light as a sensor so uh, what I will do when I will be placing my hand in front of the sensor uh, there will be some shadow on the sensor the value will change so as you can see now I put my hand in front of the sensor it will detect that there is someone in front of the sensor and it will then send me a message on my cell phone as you can see I received a message which is saying that the intruder is uh, detected let me focus this so that you can see clearly and now as you can see the intruder is uh, detected so now if you want to use a laser so you can just uh, turn on the laser and directly point that onto the LDR so when there is uh, will be anything in front of the LDR it will send you a message right now I'm putting some shadow and you can see I received another message this project can be easily modified into advanced security systems you can use so many other sensors which are available in the market like the motion sensor like the ground sensor the read sensor there are so many other type of sensors you can build your own sensors and interface with the art reader you know all you need is just to use if conditions read those sensors and send messages so it is just that simple Simple. I hope you like this uh, tutorial if you have any suggestions please let me know in a comment like and share this video with your friends and thanks for watching